So Desmond Swain is extremely boisterous in the House of Commons and in the media when it comes to issues of personal liberty. Unfortunately, his true self is somewhat different. Let's see an example, and then I'll come back with some commentary about now it. We discover, now we discover that a vaccination may be a passport to the acquisition of your civil liberty, liberties, and without which you will have all sorts of things that you would be able to do denied to you. Can I say that that would be absolutely disproportionate to a, a virus with a mortality rate of verging on 1%. It would equally be a terrible precedent to set for other vaccines and medicines. Hi guys, so I have called out Sir Desmond Swain on numerous occasions because I disagree fundamentally with his politics. But I want to be honest with him and I want to share with you his voting record because it's mixed. And in some ways it's positive, but in other ways it's very negative. But not because of I, because I disagree with him, because he's he's disagreeing with himself. Now Desmond Swain presents himself as a libertarian, somebody who cares about human rights, the rights of people to do as they please. And in some areas he's consistent with that, in other areas he's not. Now you have to remember that what politicians say in Parliament is very different to how they vote generally. So let's look at. Sir Desmond Swain's voting record. Now, once again, you can find this on theyworkforyou.com and it's a fantastic website. I do recommend using it. Just go to your, you know, go to this website, check out how your local MP votes and call them out if they vote the wrong way. Now, let's have a look at some of the issues um, Sir Desmond Swain has voted on. So first of all, have a look at social issues. Now here he, he is somewhat um, consistent in some areas, not so consistent in others. So it says here, voted a mixture of for and against equal gay rights. So you would imagine he would be voting consistently for gay rights because he wants people to have human rights. Um, why would he be voting in any case against that? I'm not going to go down into the details of the votes because that would take too long, but generally you would imagine he would be voting against, he would be voting for rights, more rights for people. Maybe for some people, not all people generally voted uh, against smoking bans, consistently voted against the hunting ban. Now, I don't know whether he's into fox hunting. Tories generally are. So he maybe he's he's he does some fox hunting. I'm completely against fox hunting. But from a libertarian point of view, I can understand he would be saying, yes, well, people should be allowed to do fox hunting. Um, generally voted against the smoking bans. Again, this idea, yeah, well, I should be allowed to pollute the air of others. I should be allowed to pollute uh, the lungs of my children if I want to, from a libertarian point of view. I disagree with this policy, with his politics on this, but in a way he's being consistent, you could say. Generally voted for allowing marriage between two people of the same sex. So he's pro-gay marriage, but not pro-gay gay rights, it seems. And generally voted against the promotion of equality and human rights. <laughs> you would think somebody who's libertarian, who cares about, you know, in parliament, he's always talk, banging on about human rights. You would think somebody would vote for that. Now, the final one here on social issues I want to talk about is deeply concerning because he says, it says here, consistently voted against allowing terminally ill people to be given assistance to end their life. Now, can you think of a more fundamental issue regarding human rights than being allowed to ter to terminate your own life. This is not for people who may be depressed. This is not for people um, who, you know, have some argument about saying, look, I, I, I don't want to go on. This is about terminally ill people. I didn't, I can't think of, of an argument here. Why would you be against allowing them to end their lives? And this is not about you. This is about allowing other people. You're not in their situation. How can you be so against human rights to to vote uh, to stop people from being able to 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 end their life? This makes no sense to me. So somebody who presents themselves as a libertarian, voting on something that's fundamentally um, important, we, none of us know what the future holds. Surely we would like to be able to get out at some stage if it became too difficult. Once again, these are people near the end. They should be allowed. And this is, for me, this is 
the greatest inconsistency of Sir Desmond Swain. But it goes on. Let me go to the next one. Um, welfare and benefits. Um, so this isn't so much a libertarian idea, but just to give you an, a bit of a background about <laughs> how a horrible person he is. So consistently voted for reducing house um, housing benefit for social tenants deemed to have excess bedrooms, the bedroom tax. So he voted for, for the bedroom tax. Uh, consistently voted against raising welfare in line with prices. So, you know, inflation is going up. I don't want poor people to be, you know, to maintain the <laughs> the position that they're in. I want them to get poorer. Once again, this is not about libertarian ideas. Well, well it maybe in a sense it is. He wants the poor people, well, they're poor. Tough luck. I shouldn't be I shouldn't be bailing them out. I'm, you know, I'm quite comfortable. They're not. It's the, you know, the look of the draw. I'm sure if he was poor, he probably would have a different opinion. But this, but he's a Tory, so. Another horrible position he's he's decided to go uh, to vote on. So consistently voted against paying higher benefits over longer periods for those unable to work due to illness and disability. So he has 15 votes against allowing uh, extra benefits for people who are sick and, dis and disabled. Not people who just were, look, I couldn't be bothered working. These are people who are sick or disabled. Um, I'm not going to go through all of these. Uh, consistently voted for reducing uh, the reduction in spending on welfare benefits. Once again, a horrible individual. Um, I want to go to the next one. Uh, house, uh, home affairs. I'm not going to read all of these, but home affairs. So always voted uh, for stricter asylum asylum system, so he doesn't want people coming into the country. Uh, almost always voted against introducing ID cards. Now, I don't have a problem with ID cards. Libertarians seem to have a problem with ID cards. Now, once again, you know, you have things that he you can say. Well, he's consistent on that. You know, ID cards. Some people say it's an infringement on our on our liberties. I don't see a problem with it. Um, really, you know. At the end of the day, they're more a benefit than a cost. But <laughs> for me, <laughs> I couldn't believe when I read this one near the end. It says here, he's voted three times for and zero times against. So consistently voted for mass surveillance of people's communications and activities. He's a fraud. He's an absolute fraud. He's going to vote for things that you know, are beneficial to him or maybe throw a few bones uh, to his libertarian supporters on ID cars and things, things that don't really matter. But mass surveillance is the opposite of libertarianism and he voted for it. He's a fraud. He's a liar. He's a cheat. How can someone who says, I'm for, <laughs> once again, I'm for libertarian ideas, I'm for you know, human rights, people should be free to do what they want. And he votes for mass surveillance. And he also voted to uh, against allowing people who are terminally ill to end their lives. He's a fraud. That's all I have to say. I do recommend checking out the rest of these um, these policies that he's voted on or voted against. But Desmond Swain is not the libertarian that people think he is. He has voted uh, once again, he's voted against people's right to end their lives. He's voted for mass surveillance. But he will be continually um, rolled out onto talk radio and LBC and others um, to promote the idea that he is this shining light defending human rights and defending liberty. But he's not, as you can see here. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. Do once again check out your MP and find out how they really voted and compare it with their rhetoric. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.